So, <clears throat> so quick tip video here. I'm taking this bandsaw apart and need to take the wheel off. It's a 32 inch wheel. I already took the set screws out. There's a knot on the other side. You have to be careful. Make sure there's not any set screws on the opposite side of the wheel. There's a key here, but the, a, a gear puller is how I usually take these things off, but there's nothing to engage the teeth of the gear puller. So I'm gonna, came up with a little trick that seemed to work. It worked on the upper wheel. Hopefully it'll work on this wheel. a little sandpaper around here. It might not be a bad idea to like do some spray glue or something, but I did not do that here. Next, I have these little pieces of flexible aluminum that I got from Home Depot quite a while back, featured in my burn bowl video. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it. But I've been holding on to it for years and found use for it today. So I cut little strips of it, three of them, in fact. And I've used a standard hose clamp, four inch hose clamp, to hold these in place, roughly in the configuration that the gear puller will go. So I'm gonna put the gear puller on there. I'm gonna maybe get the key out first, we'll try that. with a strap clamp to hold it down. Let's see if it works. You have to be fairly ginger about it, but it does work. So I've gotten it this far, but I've run out of room on the gear puller, so I'll have to put a block in there or something. A socket should do the trick. So with the socket there, it will hopefully give me the rest of the way. The wheel is not too heavy, so at least the top wheel wasn't. It's made of aluminum, so hopefully you'll just be able to lift it off. So it did give up the ghost there at the end, but I think I can get it off at this point. wheel came off no problem so a way to use a gear puller to get things off that do not have a flange for your gear puller